Hello, everyone. Welcome to another exciting video on our channel. Today, we're going to delve into a topic that has been in the spotlight recently, post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome. As always, we're here to explore the facts, present different perspectives, and help you understand the current state of knowledge regarding this syndrome. So, without further ado, let's get started. Before we begin, it's important to recognize that every vaccination, including the COVID-19 vaccine, can cause side effects. The main serious clinical adverse effects include Acute myocardial infarction, Bell's palsy, cerebral venous sinus thrombosis, Guillain-Barre syndrome, myocarditis slash pericarditis, more common in younger individuals. Pulmonary embolism, stroke, thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome, lymphadenopathy, appendicitis, herpes zoster reactivation. Neurological complications, and autoimmunity such as autoimmune hepatitis and autoimmune peripheral neuropathies. These adverse effects have been reported in various studies, such as the article published in the European Journal of Medical Research and the Nature article on the side effects of Pfizer slash BioNTech and Moderna vaccines. Recently, the United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA, restricted the use of the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine. This was due to rare but serious reports of adverse effects, such as thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome. The FDA recommended that the Janssen vaccine be administered only in certain situations and with special precautions. This restriction reinforces the importance of carefully assessing the benefits and risks of each vaccine, taking individual factors into consideration. However, today we're going to delve into a more complex issue, post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome. This condition is characterized by a wide range of symptoms and clinical presentations, including chronic fatigue syndrome, migraines, muscle pain, and even cardiovascular diseases. The symptoms of post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome can occur shortly after receiving the vaccine. Understandably, many people who experience these symptoms attribute them to vaccination. But are they correct? Well, According to experts such as Harold Pruss from Charité Hospital in Berlin and the German Center for Neurodegenerative Diseases DZNE, the situation may not be as straightforward as it seems. According to Pruss, from the perspective of those affected, this is completely understandable. However, just because the symptoms occurred after vaccination does not necessarily mean that the vaccine caused them. In fact, post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome is often overestimated in its dimension. Press's perspectives highlight the complexity of this syndrome. Let's take a closer look at the numbers. As of October 31, 2022, nearly 51,000 suspected cases of severe side effects after COVID-19 vaccination were reported to the Paul Ehrlich Institute, the federal authority responsible for vaccines and medications in Germany. It's important to remember that vaccine side effects are not uncommon. Even with other vaccines, a small portion of individuals may experience negative side effects. For example, Studies have shown that the H1N1 vaccine, swine flu, and the disease itself cause narcolepsy in a very small number of patients with similar and predictable genetic factors. The case of H1N1 vaccination was easier to establish because fewer people were infected at the time. However, with COVID-19, millions of people were infected and vaccinated practically simultaneously, making it more challenging to establish a direct relationship between symptoms and vaccination. Now, how can we diagnose post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome? Press reports that during post-COVID-19 neurological consultations he conducted at the Neurology Clinic of the Charité Hospital in Berlin, many patients who believed they had post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome actually had pre-existing conditions or unrelated health issues. This highlights the importance of a thorough medical evaluation to determine the underlying cause of symptoms. In order to diagnose post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome, Doctors typically conduct a comprehensive assessment that includes a detailed medical history, physical examination, and various diagnostic tests. This is done to rule out other potential causes of the symptoms and establish a connection between the vaccination and the observed clinical manifestations. It's important to note that the term post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome is not yet recognized as an official medical diagnosis. The medical community is actively researching and studying this phenomenon to better understand its causes, prevalence, and treatment options. Theories about the potential mechanisms behind post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome are still being explored. One possibility is that the immune response triggered by the vaccine might activate pre-existing autoimmune or inflammatory processes in susceptible individuals. Another hypothesis suggests that the psychological impact of the pandemic and the stress associated with vaccination could contribute to the development of symptoms. 
It's worth mentioning that the majority of individuals who receive COVID-19 vaccinations experience only mild side effects, such as soreness at the injection site, fatigue, headache, or fever. These side effects are typically temporary and resolve on their own without long-term consequences. To address the concerns surrounding post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome, medical authorities and research institutions are actively monitoring vaccine safety and investigating reported cases. Pharmacovigilance systems are in place to track adverse events and evaluate potential connections between vaccines and symptoms. In conclusion, while post-COVID-19 vaccination syndrome is a topic of interest and ongoing research, it's important to approach it with caution and rely on scientific evidence and medical evaluation. The reported cases are relatively rare, and the vast majority of individuals who receive COVID-19 vaccines experience no long-term adverse effects. If you have concerns or are experiencing symptoms after receiving a COVID-19 vaccine, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional who can provide personalized advice based on your specific situation. Remember, vaccination remains a crucial tool in the fight against COVID-19 and has proven to be highly effective in preventing severe illness, hospitalization, and death. As always, stay informed, stay safe, and continue to prioritize your health and well-being. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.